In my previous video on super simple paste paper, I showed a very easy pull method of paste paper that used two contrasting colors. Um, for instance, I used a brown and a green that resulted in this paper and the cover of this book. Now, today I want to show um, a slight variation on this because that gave us two different sheets of paper. And although one could try and replicate it another time, it wouldn't always come out exactly the same. So what I want to show today is the same method, or at least a similar method, I do do it slightly differently, in which I do exactly the same thing on both sheets of paper before I pull it. And that gives paper that is much more alike. Um, and that's useful when you want to have two pieces to use, for instance, as end pages, that you want to be basically the same. And then I also show how to make a simple patterned paper using basically the same method, but then doing something different before I pull it. Right, I start by once more mixing my paints, um, or mixing the paste, and I'm really using the same paste recipe as before, uh, just a simple wheat, wheat flour paste, which you can see how I made in the video that I'll link to. Um, I'm going to be using, and then I mix that with um, acrylic paint. I'm going to be doing a, a dark blue, navy blue, which I'll mix a bit. Um, should do and then also a silver I'm using a cheap 160 gram bond paper uh, that's in the short grain because I want to use it for end pages and a cover um, and I once more basically Smear in the or smear on the paste. Now this time, unlike the last time, I'm actually going to create more texture by doing that. Right, and once I've gone over that, I'm going to take my silver and basically create blobs of that on top too. And then, having done that, I put it aside and do the other one, the same thing for the other one. Once I've done the same thing for both pages. I should have two sheets that are basically the same and I then do what I did the last time and place the one on top of the other and basically work them down with my hand but being careful not to push with a sharp object or even your finger can create quite a specific mark. So I'll try and do it with the flat of my hand. And then I'm going to pull them apart. Um, I'm going to pull from the one side. The, the direction you pull in will also affect the final pattern. So here we go. There we have it. One. And this is the other. 
I'm now going to do another two that I'm going to plan to use for the cover of the book. And to start with, I do exactly the same thing using the same colors. Right, I now have my two sheets again, the same as last time, um, that are actually could just be used like this as well. But um, I'm going to once more place them on top of each other. And I do the same as I did before. Press them down. Well, but having pressed them down I'm now going to take obviously you can well, have to find your own thing but I find that this works quite well it's an old um, silver bowl with a pattern and I find that if I basically press that along the paper. I'm doing it in lines now. You could do all sorts of different directions and patterns with it. Um, but this creates a nice texture. And then once I've done that, I basically pull it apart. And this is the moment of reckoning. And there we have our paste paper. So here I have my completed paste paper. It's been in the press overnight after drying. Um, I'm planning to use this for a for the end pages of a book and this for the cover, which I will hopefully post on when I do, and I'll put a link in this video then. Um, so if you found this video helpful, then please like and share it. And please let me know if you have any questions or topics that you'd like me to address.